Hello everybody! As you may notice, my channel is all about affordable creative software. Usually I use Affinity Designer for Mac, Windows and iPad. But what if you actually cannot use Windows or Mac computer or not even iPad? What if you need to use Chromebook or Android tablet or maybe just your phone? Maybe you are in the school setting or business setting where you can only use Chrome device. Can you find a free alternative to Adobe software, to Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator in 2022? The good news is, yes, it's easier than before. So let's explore very good free alternatives on Chromebook machine. Alright, the first software I'll mention is called Photopy. This is web-based app, so you actually can access website photopy.com and they will allow you to install the app on your Chromebook. So you will have a separate icon as you can see here. This is my Photopy. I'm going to turn it on right now and this is just a shortcut to the website photopy.com. Keep in mind, this is free app with ads. I'm right now on the premium account. What is the difference? That's actually the only, only difference here is you got no ads, few more steps in history, and that's it. That's super fair premium account here. They didn't hide any features behind paywall. So if you wanna use it for free, I think that's fair enough to have a little ad on the right side. If you wanna get rid of that ad, simply pay i think 10 bucks per three months or something like that so it's totally free and you can pay a little bit extra to get rid of ads on your screen so i think that's fair enough take a look here you can simply drag and drop any file to start your project you can load your files or save your files on different cloud storage services like onedrive dropbox google drive for us chromebook users or you can simply start a new file on your device first. Even though this is web-based app, the file is on your side, on your device. Your file is safe and private, so don't worry about that. Click new, and from here we can load a blank new artboard, just like this. If you ever use Photoshop before, you will notice how similar this interface is, and that's great for us, because Whatever you or your student learn in this software, it's transferable to premium Adobe Photoshop software later on, or maybe the free version or cheaper version, something like Affinity Photo. It's really very similar. Take a look. All of our tools are on the left side, and we got 90% of Photoshop tools here. So everything that is important, everything that matters is here. You got your shortcuts here so you can practice and learn all about using shortcuts changing tools with shortcut navigating with shortcuts it's a whole filter panel just like in photoshop you can you can add effects to your layers like in photoshop so this is a really a great alternative to Photoshop and I can tell you I use this not only on my Chromebook but also on my iPad my Mac so that's great alternative to Photoshop I use Affinity Photo plus Photopy as my alternative software to Adobe Photoshop I stopped my subscription long long time ago and those two programs just enough for me all right this is really great alternative and the best part is it's so similar interface wise that you can actually follow tutorials for Photoshop inside Photopy without troubles without problem this program also save me and my students last year when we need to study from home how can I expect my students to buy expensive Adobe Photoshop so everybody just go to photopy.com and they can finish a unit about raster editing so that was great experience for me and I truly recommend this software. All right, so we got our Adobe Photoshop alternative cover. How about Illustrator then? Is there anything similar to Illustrator in the Chromebook space? 
that's a little bit harder but there's one app that is great for vector editing it's called Gravity Designer and again it's free with some premium option as well unfortunately it's not that similar style as Photopy so the pre we got some tools some features behind paywall here not only about ads, there are no ads by the way in this case the premium is for extra tools and features the good thing is they got their own cloud storage even for free accounts so you can store your vector files in the cloud that was super helpful for me when I was working with students I don't need to worry about their files missing or stuff like that so you can go and create a new document using Gravit Designer And as you can see, we got the first paid feature here. If you could touch screen like I do right now, I will need to pay extra if I want to have like touch screen optimized interface. In my case, I got also mouse and keyboard because this is Chromebook flip, so I can use both modes. This way I can keep using this for free. Take a look on the interface. The first thing I recommend you guys to do is actually to go to edit and settings and change your team to be dark nobody use the light team like this anymore all right much better so at the very top we got our vector tools the cool things about this software is it's really beginner friendly so if I hover my mouse above pen tool I got a little explanation and even little animated gif showing the tool that's really helpful so you got those little hints with some tools that's nice on the left side we got our pages like artboards and layers on the right side we got properties of currently selected shape so let's try to draw something if I go with a simple shape like ellipse I can modify a fill color here easily if I want to add a border color around I can do that by clicking plus button here so as you can see it's quite snappy and this is vector editing software similar to Inkscape, Affinity Designer and of course Adobe Illustrator so we can have two vector shapes and we can of course unite them together into one using some boolean operations and nicely we got this little animated GIF very friendly for students for beginners union we got new shape here convert to path we can also use sub select to modify our shape add new nodes we can draw custom shape using pen tool over here so this is really decent vector editing software just keep in mind there are some features like the touch interface or some export features that are only for paid users I was very happy about this software and the best part is you can access this Gravit Designer from your web browser or from your Chromebook so it's accessible for Windows, Mac, Chromebook, iPad, even smartphone that's the best part here that you don't need to worry about operating system you don't need to install anything as you can see there are some features with pro level like show version history or when I if I try to export this right now export this to let's say PDF as you can see I cannot export in 300 dpi only 150 because that's the pro feature all right so we got great free alternatives to Adobe software nowadays in 2022 if you are using Chromebook you can use Photopy instead of Photoshop Photopy instead of Photoshop and Gravit Designer instead of Adobe Illustrator so I hope this video was helpful if you are into affordable creative software please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye.